The universe is a grand, awe-inspiring spectacle. It's a vast expanse teeming with stars, galaxies, and mysterious phenomena. Yet, its very existence presents us with a profound paradox. The laws of physics, as we understand them, suggest that the universe shouldn't exist at all. The prevailing theory of the universe's origin is the Big Bang. This theory posits that the universe began as an incredibly hot, dense point. It then expanded and cooled over billions of years, eventually forming the cosmos we observe today. But this explanation raises more questions than it answers. Why is there something rather than nothing? Where did the initial energy for the Big Bang come from? These fundamental questions lie at the heart of the cosmic conundrum. The universe's existence in many ways defies our current understanding of the cosmos. The very fabric of space-time, the fundamental forces that govern the universe, and the delicate balance of conditions required for life, all of these point to a universe that is both improbable and awe-inspiring. The more we learn about the cosmos, the more we realize how much more there is to discover. The early universe was a chaotic and energetic place. One of the most perplexing aspects of this early era is the matter-antimatter dilemma. According to the standard model of particle physics, every particle of matter has an antimatter counterpart. Antimatter is essentially the mirror image of matter, with the same mass but an opposite charge. When matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other in a burst of energy. This fundamental symmetry presents a significant problem for our understanding of the universe's existence. If the Big Bang created equal amounts of matter and antimatter as it should have, then the universe would have been a very short-lived affair. All the matter and antimatter would have quickly annihilated, leaving behind nothing but a sea of radiation. Yet, here we are, surrounded by a universe teeming with matter. The stars, planets, and everything we see around us are all made of matter. This begs the question, where did all the antimatter go? This asymmetry between matter and antimatter is one of the most significant unsolved mysteries in cosmology. It suggests that there are fundamental gaps in our understanding of the laws of physics. The matter-antimatter dilemma points to a crucial event in the early universe, symmetry breaking. In the first moments after the Big Bang, the universe was in a state of perfect symmetry. Matter and antimatter existed in equal amounts, and the fundamental forces were unified. However, as the universe expanded and cooled, this symmetry began to break down. This symmetry breaking had profound consequences. It led to the separation of the fundamental forces and the emergence of the particles we observe today. One explanation for the matter-antimatter asymmetry lies in the realm of particle physics. Some theories propose that there are subtle differences in the behavior of matter and antimatter. These differences, however slight, could have tipped the scales in favor of matter during the early universe. This imbalance, even if it were tiny, could have resulted in a slight excess of matter over antimatter. As the universe continued to expand and cool, the remaining matter and antimatter would have annihilated. This would leave behind the matter we observe today, a relic of this ancient cosmic imbalance. The concept of symmetry breaking is crucial for understanding not only the matter-antimatter asymmetry but also the formation of structures in the universe. It highlights the dynamic and evolving nature of the cosmos. Quantum mechanics, the strange and counterintuitive theory that governs the behavior of matter at the smallest scales, also plays a role in the paradox of the universe's existence. In the quantum realm, events are governed by probabilities, not certainties. Particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, and their behavior is inherently unpredictable. This probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics has profound implications for the universe's formation. One intriguing possibility is that the universe's existence is the result of a quantum fluctuation. According to quantum field theory, even the vacuum of space is not truly empty. It is teeming with virtual particles that constantly pop in and out of existence. These fluctuations are usually very short-lived and insignificant. However, in the extreme conditions of the very early universe, it's conceivable that a particularly large quantum fluctuation could have occurred. This fluctuation could have been so significant that it gave rise to the energy and matter that make up our universe. In this sense, the universe's existence could be seen as a matter of pure chance, a cosmic roll of the dice. The laws of physics may not dictate that the universe should exist, but they allow for the possibility of its existence through the inherent randomness of the quantum world. 
Section 5, A Cosmic Dance of Darkness, Unveiling the Unseen. As we delve deeper into the cosmos we encounter phenomena that challenge our understanding. Dark matter and dark energy dominate the universe's energy budget. Dark matter does not interact with light, we infer its presence through gravitational effects, galaxies rotate faster than visible matter alone suggests. An invisible halo of dark matter provides extra gravity, dark energy is an even more mysterious force. It is responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe. Together, dark energy and dark matter make up the vast majority of the universe's energy density. Section 6. Against all odds, the universe's defiance of collapse. The rapid expansion of the universe in its early moments known as inflation, presents another puzzle. According to the theory of inflation, the universe underwent a period of exponential expansion in the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang. This rapid expansion stretched the universe from a size smaller than an atom to a size larger than our observable universe today. While inflation solves many cosmological problems, it also raises questions about why the universe didn't collapse back in on itself. The immense gravitational pull of all the matter and energy in the early universe should have caused it to recollapse almost immediately. However, this didn't happen. One possible explanation lies in the nature of the inflationary field itself. This field, which drove the rapid expansion, may have possessed a negative pressure. Unlike ordinary matter and energy, which have positive pressure and contribute to gravitational collapse, negative pressure would have acted as a repulsive force. This repulsive force, outweighing the gravitational pull, would have driven the universe apart, preventing it from collapsing back in on itself. The universe's survival in those early moments is a testament to the delicate balance of forces at play. Section 7. Imagining the Void, a Glimpse into Non-Existence. What if the universe didn't exist? This question, while seemingly absurd, leads to a fascinating thought experiment. If there were no universe, there would be no space, no time, no matter, no energy, nothing at all. It would be a state of pure nothingness, a void beyond human comprehension. In such a void, there would be no possibility of anything existing, not even the concept of existence itself. It's impossible for our human minds, bound by the constraints of our universe, to truly grasp the concept of absolute nothingness. We can only speculate and imagine, but even our most abstract thoughts are limited by our experiences within this universe. However, this thought experiment highlights the profound nature of existence itself. The fact that there is something rather than nothing is a fundamental mystery, one that science and philosophy may never fully unravel. Section 8. Lingering Mysteries Unanswered Questions in the Cosmic Dark Despite the remarkable progress we've made in understanding the universe, many mysteries remain. The paradox of the universe's existence is far from solved. We still don't fully understand the nature of dark matter and dark energy. We don't know what caused the Big Bang or what, if anything, came before it. The origin of the universe's low entropy, the arrow of time, and the ultimate fate of the universe are all open questions. These unanswered questions are not a sign of failure but rather an invitation to further exploration. They remind us that the universe is a vast and complex place, full of wonders and mysteries yet to be uncovered. Section 9. Accepting the Infinite, Embracing the Enigma of Existence Given the profound mysteries surrounding the universe's existence it might be tempting to throw up our hands in defeat. However, I believe that the opposite approach is more appropriate. We should embrace the enigma, revel in the unknown, and celebrate the fact that we live in a universe that is both improbable and awe-inspiring. The universe's existence is a gift, a cosmic accident that has allowed for the emergence of life, consciousness, and all the beauty and complexity we observe around us. Rather than getting bogged down in the paradox, let's marvel at the fact that we are a part of this grand cosmic experiment. Section 10. The Quest for Understanding Our Unending Cosmic Journey The pursuit of scientific knowledge is driven by our innate curiosity and desire to understand the world around us. The paradox of the universe's existence, far from being a deterrent, should serve as a source of inspiration. It should motivate us to continue asking questions, exploring the cosmos, and pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. Every new discovery, every piece of the puzzle we uncover, brings us closer to a deeper understanding of our place in the universe. 
The journey of scientific exploration is an ongoing one, and the paradox of the universe's existence reminds us that there will always be more to learn. Section 11, The Universe Within, A Final Thought. As we contemplate the vastness of the cosmos and the mysteries it holds, let's not forget the universe within each of us. Our minds, capable of comprehending the unimaginable scales of the universe and pondering its very existence are a testament to the extraordinary nature of being alive. We are made of the same stardust that forms the stars, and the atoms in our bodies have witnessed the entire history of the universe. In a sense, we are the universe trying to understand itself, let us continue to explore, to question and to marvel at the wonders of the cosmos, both within and beyond ourselves.